and he is able to recover. He looks a little sluggish in turn three. Certainly does, but this is the one that counts the most. Back on top of their game and on top of the podium. Off turn number four. The black and whites are out. Double checkers in the air. Teddy Hodgson to take down the win. We made uh, the perfect adjustments after the heat race. It was, uh, it was just a little loose after the heat race, um, and it was just a rocket ship. Uh, just a restart there. We got a good run coming out of four. We just took the lead and went on from there. Final half mile into turn one for the final time. Drifts up the racetrack just a bit. Turn two. Walker has less than two turns. The rookie, Michael Hopkins, has dreamt about this day. Winning here at Stafford off turn number four. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Hopkins in his rookie year will take down his first career victory. Walker will finish in second. Brandon Michael to finish in the third spot. Mike, coming up from the legend cars, going right into the dare stocks, man. That is quite the task. I'll tell you, it's quite the task and it's super expensive, but we just kept at it, kept at it, kept at it, and I was beating myself up the last couple weeks, but the car was on rails and we just got it done. But the spotlight is on Frank Latwell. As they come off turn number four, ladies and gentlemen, he has done it. Frank Latois has taken down the victory. Car number 11 will visit Napa Victory Lane. Yeah, I actually, uh, I took a breath when I got their restarts because they were hounding me, and I know they, they got some steam in their they handle, so we just, uh, you know, we'll take whatever we can get, so cautions or not. This car's up front again, and uh, I got to thank the whole team here. Bambrino might be the luckiest guy in the house because Joe Graff, with the deuce is wild, is moving to the inside. But Membrino forces Graff to go to the outside. Here comes Vinny and Grace. Here's the money shot. And it's Membrino. Yeah, work for it is right. We, we had a steering rack issue for most of the day, and we just about fixed it up for the race. And uh, we had to make some serious adjustments. And it wasn't perfect, but it was perfect for me. And uh, I can't thank my dad, Ed Flumke, my whole team, our team, for all the hard work they do and all the pissing and moaning they put up with me. And, uh, Whew, I didn't think we'd get back here. We had a real bit of a dry spell, to say the least, and I'm just happy to be back in Napa Victory Lane. Got to thank uh, everyone that helps get me here. Gray is closing in, but he is running out of time and running out of laps. And here is Tommy Fern as he bounces his way off of turn number four. Down to the stripe, Tommy Fern back in the winner's circle. Michael Ray for second. Just uh. The car really turns and gets off the corner, so uh, I was able to do it when I could, and then uh, we missed that big one down in turn one there, just barely, but we did. And then, uh, you know, I mean, it wasn't really clear sailing for, by them, but, uh, you know, Michael Ray was right there with us, and I see the O3. They were right there, too, but... Uh... Nobody's surrendering, not for the lead or any positions in the top ten. It's still an all-out battle. Final two turns. Coming up next, Pennick guards the spot. Christopher reels him in. Off the turn, Rowan Pennick will take down the win. Awesome car tonight. I uh, was able to drive right to the front with it. Um, had a little challenge from there, Ted, with the you know in the last couple restarts, but uh, the car was awesome and I was able to hold them off. These guys did a great job after last week. Car got banged up and we were able to rebound and. The guys put it back together just how it needed to be, and I couldn't be here without all of them.